Hi, in this video we'll create a Angular JS directive. Once you click on this directive, it will open the nodes and you will see that we get the name of our nodes here. So this is a basic directive. Nowadays we are using the tree a lot. So let's see how we can create a directive and access all the values in our controller. Here we'll be using the JS tree plugin. So this is the tree which comes as a jQuery plugin and we'll create a directive out of it and access the values in our AngularJS controller. So this is the URL. You can come to this address on GitHub and download the entire package. I have already done this. Next, let's go and create our directive and have a look at it. So in our project, we have Angular and jQuery. So jQuery is needed for the JS tree. We have our app.js. So it is a simple Angular module. We have named it as directives. The name of our controller is directive one controller and there is a variable on the scope called selected option which is set to none in the beginning. From the downloaded folder we have our themes. Inside our theme we have default and style.css this is one we are using. Next We have our JS folder and we have kept our JS tree inside here. Let's come to our directive now. This is a basic Angular JS directive. We have named it as tree and restricted it to be an element. We give it a template which is very simple. So we have a div and id tree. Our controller is our directive one controller and we have our link function. Inside our link function we are accessing the scope of the directive. We get the element attributes and our model controller. As you see we have our id as tree. So once we get the tree, we attach a JS tree to it. This is how we need to give our data to show on the page as a tree. So we have data. Inside our data, we have a text called countries. So this is the root node. Then we have children. So USA has a children called Florida. So this becomes a root node for Florida and we have India with Sikkim. Similarly you can keep adding to the array here and the nodes will keep on increasing. Once we ha go for a double click on the JS tree, we take our reference of the JS tree and from the target we copy the text to our selected option. The selected option as you remember is defined in our controller but as this operation happens outside the context of AngularJS we need to run the digest cycle by firing scope.apply If you want to look at other functions and events inside the tree, you can easily open the JS tree and go through all the events given to us. So this is how you create a simple directive of a JavaScript tree and this is a small demo here. So initially you have selected nothing, 
to do a double click now we have selected countries USA Florida India and Sikkim thanks for watching